going up, he going up. A lot of people, I ain't gonna lie, I gotta tell the truth. So a lot of people like, man, he like the new uh, Crip Mac or something. Damn, I'm man. just telling you what they were saying. That Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, man, I'm in L.A., man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. boy A.D. showed up and co-hosting yes, this thing yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah. Mephdy Gun Players in the building. What's yeah, going on, man? Mephdy Gun Players in the building. We got A.D. in the building. Yeah. Right. We got, E.C.E.O. We got, in the building. I walked up in here. I see Mitchy Slick. It's yeah. going down. Uh -huh. Yeah, we chilling. We right here. We in man, LA. Man, thank you for coming on the show, man. Boss Talk 101, man. This gonna be a treat, man. Hey, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys join our membership, man. Rock out with us, man. It's going down. Subscribe, like, like it, like it, run it up. That's it, man. So, say, man, when I look at you, man, you you've been locked up and everything. You've been through the you've been through the fire. Yeah, one of the real essay rappers. You could believe what they told you. Real, what you what you speak on is the truth. I can't write no face, though. That's why I don't make no. Ratchet songs because I'm, I'm not I'm not on that part of my life yet, but hopefully I'll get there. But all my songs are just painful, painful stuff. Just uh, yeah, I've been locked up a lot, man. But it made me now who I am. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be Lefty Gunplay. Wow. You know, it'd be all cap. It'd be all bullshit. But people can relate. People want to see me win. And yeah, now I'm here with you, man. Like, hey, man, listen. When I I, I hear the AD up, I was like, man, who I need to interview when I come to LA. You know, I'm in Texas. Mm -hmm. He said, me got to get lefty, man. He yeah, hot yeah, right now. You got to. He, hey, you got to get him. He hot right now. Right, he, yeah. he going up. He going up. A lot of people, I ain't going to lie, I got to tell the truth. So A lot of people like, man, he like the new uh, Crip Mac or something. Yeah, I'm man. just telling you what they were saying. That's yeah, it. Hey, look, like, look. People, I heard that, bro. No, no, no. Because no. they talking about the way he going up. No, I heard, I heard that like that too, but you can't. You can't compare the homie to anybody. You can't compare Crip Mac to anybody, too. Bro doing his thing, and I feel like when somebody comes along with a lot of energy, yeah, they're not used to that. Bro is very blunt. He say what he, you know what I'm saying? Whatever come on top of his head, he say it, and that's what, the, his infectious energy, that's what makes him real, you know what I mean? But was, you, you was always like this. Always like this. Yeah, they got videos of me. I, I don't know where the hell they find all these videos on YouTube. They got a gang of shit. I can't get, I was trying to keep up today. New video every 20 minutes. <laughs> they got my fights from high school. I don't even got them. Yeah, but they, they got it, and they got videos of me when I was younger, and they'd be like, man, he always been like that. Like, I just always had ADHD and been wilding out and just been lefty. I can't get right. You know, left-handed. Well, but it's got to be crazy. Like, like people walking up to you now and they seeing oh, yeah, you everywhere, yeah, yeah. Now, bro. Like, now, how's that? How how are you dealing with that? Now I just walk out and I just I'll, I'll you know play a game when I go smoke a cigarette on the corner of LA and at least three pictures. You know, what I'm saying everybody beeping the horn at me. Hey, Lefty, what's they your love famous you. gangbanger? Yeah, they love you, bro. Yeah, they love me, the here, love man. is real, huh? They love me in the lake. <laughs> like they little park on the gang. They That's love me it. In LA, yo. So, do you ever, you come you come to the South? You got to come down and see yeah, us, man. In Texas? Yeah. Yeah, I got to go down and go tap in with my we baby, P a Killer. Oh, yeah? That's my little girl right there, uh, D Baby, and, uh, and uh, Mexican OT. Yeah, I talked to them. I got to go out there and go get it in. One time, see what's up with the South. Man, you know, Mexican OT is hard. Yeah, Mexican OT yeah. hard as hell. Hard. Yeah, yeah, you know I do. You know that's why you mm -hmm. met me as his manager when I when mm -hmm. we met, first met in Houston. He real soft baby, huh? He's mm -hmm. just like real soft, yeah. soft. Yeah, baby. yeah. He went, um, boar hunting with bootleg care. I thought that was no, nah, for real. Yeah, they did. They did. They went yeah, boar hunting. Yeah, they told they told they asked me, is it okay if we take Lefty or boar hunting in the helicopter with with the straps? That's and like, I do that. They're shit. like, hell no, this fool Lefty. I'm like, man, I got it. No shit. <laughs> I'm like, man, don't, don't trust me up there. I, man, I go crazy on that thing. Black Hawk down shit. <laughs> I'm gunning shit down from that thing. <laughs> nah, man. Like, like, what's what's, uh, what's so, okay? You was gone for how long? I was gone for nine years. What's changed? What's the biggest change when you came home that you seen? All the girls had different babies. More babies. <laughs> Y'all got more babies. <laughs> Y'all got more babies on. He ain't lying. Yeah, my mentality is just still like when I was. I grew up in there. I learned how to shave in there. I I learned everything in there when, when prison. Uh, but uh, just I came home and just. Just the way I act and the way I see people, body language and just, you know, just firm contact and just the way you talk to people and just the way I see and I know how to have conversations with older people, younger people and have more uh, respect and gratitude towards life. And, uh, but now since I'm getting famous and I'm, I'm getting all this money and, and I'm getting the finer things in life, it's like sometimes I feel like in the beginning, I felt like I didn't deserve it. Like I was like I was out of place, you know, but now I'm starting to feel like, yeah, I deserve this shit. And the other day I went to back to the hood for the first time and like three weeks, my mom was like, hey, come sleep over here. I took her out to go eat. And I said, man, I don't never want to come back to the fucking hood ever again on the set. Just on the visit. Yeah, I'm cool, dog. Hey, I just like the way I'm getting living. it. 
So yeah, so it's it's always, it. It, some of the some of the people that's in that hood or whatever gonna try to hold you back. No, you know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is what it is. But as long as I'm staying righteous and solid and I keep it real and and, and I'm doing me and everybody's getting theirs, everybody's happy and, and people want to see me win. But ain't nobody gonna stop me. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing as long as I'm going about it the right way. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Like I read the comments, I, I read all that shit. Like you know, a lot of people love me. A lot of people love me. Twenty hate percent hate, but everybody tries to find something. They don't got shit on me. Now, I'm real solid. I'm real, real, real Sureño. Real, real, really out here in the field. Really been to level fours. Really been to the shoe. Re really from the hood. Re really down for the hood. If the homies want to call me to the hood, a DP, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pull it to the hood and go get my shit and then. You know, get it in, cracking, and it's just like that. That hood shit runs deep. I, I'll never leave. I, I, I'm moving the fuck out the hood, but the hood shit runs deep. They'll always, the hood runs deep, y'all. That hood shit runs deep, though. Like, they could always, it, it's always going to be around forever. I'm from the hood for life. I love my hood and where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? That's my barrios all over my face, but I don't want to go back to the hood. Fuck that. Like, I like nice shit now. Wow. Mm -hmm. What did you think when you came out and seen all these the podcasts, the bloggers, all this stuff going on when it comes <laughs> to the media? I see uh, I see uh, everybody's making their money out of it and everybody's eating on it. So like everybody has the, the promotions getting their money, the media's getting their money, the camera guys getting their money, the video highness are getting their money, the rappers getting his money, the manager, the money's in the music and rap and media. Once you get lost into like the LA rap scene, like with the blacks and like the Mexicans, like it's a trip and people get lost into it and it's just like, that's what we do out here. You wow. Know I got to go back into the prison, like nine years in prison. What was the biggest ride that you was in? What was the craziest oh, thing? Come on now. Yeah, you know, we're crazy. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to speak too much on that, but yeah, I, I participated in a, in a couple of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I did an indicted interview and I, I spoke on a, my prison uh, experiences in yeah. there. But yeah, I've been, I participated in a couple of them. You know what I'm saying? That's all I gotta say. That's all you gotta say about yeah, that. Hell yeah. It's just it's just something. No, 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 that's cool. You you could you could ask you could ask me, but LA, man, shit different out here. Like the homies, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I've been I I I've been in them guys. <laughs> On the hood, I've been in them. I earn all my tattoos. All my tattoos, I earn them. When they lock it lock you down, I don't know how it is out here, but when they lock you down and they feed you like where I'm from, they fed you Johnny Sacks. You get like a peanut butter sandwich, and I've been there. What's the snacks? Like that's no, no, that's what they give you. Like when they lock the whole unit down. Peanut butter sandwich. Yeah, that's you get it. just get a peanut butter sandwich and maybe a drink. That's it. Did, did they ever lock y'all down? When Hell they yeah. What did they feed you? They only lock you down for two weeks now. Okay. Because so, I ain't been now. I'm talking um, the early 90s. So. Yeah, early 90s, that's when they used to lock shit down for yeah. a long time. But now they, the, the longest they can put you on lockdown is for two weeks. So that's two better. weeks, and everybody loves it because you're just in the cell chilling. Nobody want to go to the yard. But they feed you the same yeah. food? Uh, yeah, they feed you the same food. They bring you the same food to the cell. Wow. See, that's no, different. Not, yeah, they bring you the same food to the cell. They Bo treated us bad. Bullshit ass dog food. <laughs> On the gang, dog food. <laughs> no, no. Dog food in there. That's dog food. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.